Good day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a bit of a comparison video between Kale Linux, uh, same version, 2021.4 on the left and right, the main difference being which is the, uh, the desktop environment. So we've got XFCE on the left and the GNOME desktop environment on the right. So let's get into it. So starting off, I probably should mention that this is all based off Debian. Uh, Kale Linux is a security based operating system. So forensic tools, penetration tools, software IT security tools for testing your own stuff. Don't test it with um, web servers that aren't your own. I believe that's very much illegal. Uh, now, the uh, just having a look at the desktop environments. In fact, I might just close a few things out here. So XFCE on the left, it's got its nice, uh, I, I guess it's, it's Kale Linux inspired. So you've got the blue and, and the, uh, the, the, the dark tones there. So it's almost like dark mode effectively there. All the software, the same on both. Let's load up the applications menu, kind of similar here. But you can't exactly search for anything on the right hand side with GNOME unless you do go that one step further, click on here, then type to search. But hey, you can see the same software is there, absolutely. Uh, let's just jump out of that just a little bit and uh, right click on the, the context menus. So fairly similar. A few extra things here for XFCE, which you don't normally expect because it is traditionally perceived as a lighter weight uh, de uh, file manager and we'll or sorry desktop environment and we'll have a look at the RAM usage soon to confirm or not uh, but hey open terminal that keeps me happy every video I'll always continue to say that nice and easy open terminal there and you can type in whatever you want uh, now let's uh, look into the uh, under the hood just a little bit and see what we're dealing with so we are dealing with a 5.14 kernel on both sides so that's that's pretty much standard uh, because it will be the same kernel. I'm just impressed that it's Debian based but using one of the latest and greatest kernels. That's just fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Uh, moving across to the, uh, the the CPU and RAM usage as promised. So here we go. So XFCE running at about 740 megabytes of RAM. Got no, uh, running at about 743 or 740 megabytes of RAM. So really, really similar. Uh, it just comes down to your preference, guys. Uh, if you're uh, preferring the, the the look and flow of GNOME, which to be honest, I'm not really, I'm not the biggest fan, or uh, XFCE, nice and simple. It feels lighter weight, I've got to say. There's, there's less lag in it, that kind of thing. Uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.